From Shovelware Studios Hollywood, it's your new favorite show. Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Game! But the studio executives accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, the dancing banana! The Power of Music! <laughs> this goldfish I got from my dentist last week! I was such a good patient during the visit that I got this as a reward. I only screamed and thrashed and cried and yelled just a little bit. But then I realized that my apartment doesn't allow pets, so it's yours if you win it. <laughs> what instrument is this? It's lit, fam! It's the Shrunken School from Shovelware's hit title, Shrunken School Lobby. This immaculately detailed prop was used during the real production of the game, which was created right here at Shovelware Studios Hollywood. I have a fence that needs painting, but I can't be bothered to do it myself. Which character from classic American literature could I go to for advice on how to scam others into doing it for me? I don't like that. I thought I heard someone say something about delicious pancakes. <gasps> and I was right! It's $50 worth of delicious brand pancake mix! Delicious Brand Pancake Mix provides better, more delicious pancakes for you and your whole family. Sit down to a nice, wholesome meal that'll take you away to another world of deliciousness. I have a friend who can't stand spiders. He gets the absolute heebie-jeebies anytime he's around one. <laughs> he can't stand their fuzzy bodies, their eight legs, their numerous eyes. What is the name of my... Friends, phobia.
Zoo Pals! All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a board? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board! Hi ho! Bordy the Smart Board here! Look at this beluga whale! It's got a funny little bump on its head that helps it find food and navigate using echolocation. What is that called? Ha! <laughs> Lucky guess! Another question down! See you all later! <laughs> Nonsense non sequiturs! We can't believe they're letting us use his likeness. It's Bordy the Smart Board! I better be getting paid extra for this. <laughs> Here's another question! Corporate needs you to find the difference between these two pictures. The power of music! <laughs> what style of musical theater originating in the 1600s is defined by its loud, dramatic singers and orchestra? Sure, whatever! <laughs> Trains, planes, and automobiles! Starting in World War II, Pilots would often have what's called nose art painted on their planes. No, not art painted using a nose. Oh, <laughs> you silly goose. Art painted on the nose of the airplane. A good number of those fighter planes had a certain ferocious animal's face painted onto their fronts. Which animal is it? Oh yeah, this is happening.
Zoo Pals uh, Why do things keep evolving into crabs? Across history, crustacean species keep evolving into creatures that we'd recognize as crabs. It's freaky. In fact, it's happened so many times that there's an actual scientific term for it. Um, what is that term? The power of music. This question is really gonna get him. And you know, if not, then let me get struck by... Oh, uh, a falling grand piano. <laughs> and live! Whoa! That was a close call. And now all of the keys are scattered everywhere. I guess I've got to clean this mess up. Uh, how many keys will I need to pick up in total? Zoo Pals It's a six-month supply of dancing banana ice cream bars from Shovelware Foods. This delicious fruity frozen treat features two chewy gumball eyes that we absolutely guarantee aren't placed anywhere close to how they are in the picture on the box. What do scientists call the place an animal makes its home? Signature all metal dancing banana lunchbox. What time is it? It's peanut butter and jelly sandwich time. Keep your lunch nice and fresh all morning in this convenient container. Here's our shovelware's brain game grand champion. We'll see you all next time for another brain-tingling episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Friendly Burger. When you're here, you're friendly.
Standard on tape, but technically live for our studio audience, it's Shovelware's Brain Game. But the studio executives accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, the dancing banana. Memorable events. Okay, this is gonna sound stupid, so bear with me. So, July 4th, right? The 4th of July, the United States holiday? I get so caught up in the fireworks and the sparklers and the rocket's red glare and the bombs bursting in air that I've entirely forgotten what the holiday is about. I remember some kind of document being signed back in, I don't know, what was it, 1776 or whatever? But I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Help a guy out, would you? Good enough! The power of music. <laughs> Cabbage! And the cheap kind, too! Look, I only had so much budget to get these prizes together, okay? This was gonna be my dinner. What instrument is this? Correct! Probably geography. The year is 1850-something, and I want to make my way to the American Northwest. What famous trail would I travel with my wagon party to get there? Assuming I don't die of some horrible infectious disease like dysentery on the way, anyway. That's no good. What's the word? Look, I cannot stress enough that you should play the obby I worked really hard on. Oh, wait. Has anyone ever really described what an obby is? What term is it a shortened version of?
Sports Mix. During our next commercial break, that we definitely have, we plan on having a lucky member from the audience try to sink a half-court shot for a fabulous prize. In a game of basketball, how many points is a half-court shot worth? Zoo Pals. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board. You all know me. You all love me. Bordy the Smart Board. Bruh, I swear I've seen this animal before. What is the name of it again? You've just posted cringe. I'll be in my dressing room if you want an autograph after the show. Bye. <laughs> The power of music. <laughs> what is it called when multiple voices are singing at the same time? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Probably geography. I've been looking to sneak in a little me time and get myself some much needed R and R. I want to go somewhere without many people around. Seriously, the fewer the better. Which continent is the least populated? A football chiseled out of stone. Fun for cave persons of all ages. Toss around the old mammoth skin with the whole cave family. This ancient sports ball was discovered recently by the archaeological team we chased away so that we could build our new studio on their dig site. It's even official size. You did it! You've got the biggest brain of all! Don't touch that dial. Shovelware's Brain Game will be back with another new episode after a short break. This episode is brought to you by Checkpoint Insurance. Injured? Good. You might just be entitled to a respawn. 